What's up guys, Jeremy Myrtle here with Myrtle Entertainment and today I'm going to show you guys how to put a USB in your virtual machine in VirtualBox. So uh, I apologize again for the millionth time on this channel now. I apologize for not coming back with more stuff lately. Um, the reason why I haven't is because I have had a lot of technical issues with my computer excuse me um, for example uh, I would try to record with OBS and my uh, processor would go extremely crazy it's right now at 60 out of 100 and then I would try to do stuff in VirtualBox and then it just would not work nothing would boot and it just drove me completely crazy so um, I had to go and reinstall everything and it works just fine so <clears throat> if you without further ado let's go ahead and get into it so uh, if you guys have VirtualBox go ahead and open it up if you don't you can download it at virtualbox.org and uh, I don't recommend getting the latest version mainly because for me it didn't work but for you guys who knows so go ahead you can go and go you can go to blah, 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 blah. You can go to virtualbox.org and click this big download button. Now, for me, I had. Uh, you're also gonna have to uh, go go to the downloads page and grab the extension pack for the version that you have. And the reason why I say that is because you're going to need. I mean, you're, you're just gonna need it to access the feature that we need. Uh, for me, I had to go into the older builds. And then I had to click VirtualBox 5.0, and this is where it took me because I I have 5.0.12, not 5.0.14, and 5.0.14 did not work for me. It can't. It kept coming up with a whole bunch of errors. So I will try another upgrade in a future time. <clears throat> so uh, for me, I had it on this extension pack. If you have an older version, this is where you can come and get it. So that is it for the download portion. Now that you have VirtualBox in, you can click new. If you don't know how to make a virtual machine or you are or you don't have any machines in there and you want to create one, uh, you can go back to virtual you can go back to the very first episode of Virtuality and watch how I do it or you can go and watch any of those two episodes that are up at the moment. So uh, that's pretty much that so I'm going to be using Zubuntu at, uh, for the purposes of this tutorial and this was actually the last machine I installed in the previous episode of Virtuality so uh, if you guys have not seen that yet I would strongly recommend that you watch it I will have a link to the playlist in the description below so uh, once you have your system set up you can go into settings and you can go down to USB and you want to make sure this USB 2.0 is selected. I'm going to go ahead and put everything back the way it was so I can show you. But you want to make sure you have USB 2.0 and then you want to click this green USB button. And then you get all this stuff. Now what the heck is all this? Well, I'm going to tell you. These are called USB filters or the, the vir virtual box calls them filters. They're actually your drivers so you can take any one of those and mount it into the virtual machine to have access in VirtualBox now for my case to get to show you an example um, I'm gonna use this PMY Technologies USB 2.0 here so uh, you can actually go and see you can, you can go in here and, and edit the name for it you can have a vendor ID and you can give it all kinds of names and stuff I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna keep it the way it is so we're gonna click OK and start the machine up now for me it's gonna go up on scaled mode but for you it's probably going to show in a re really tiny screen now what just happened I don't know if you heard that little bleep on the uh, computer but what just happened was it took off all of the USBs within the the physical computer, not the virtual machine, but the one that you're using 
to use VirtualBox. It took off that USB so you cannot access it. So I'm going to log in. Give me just a second. I'm going to be able to log in correctly. There we go. So now with that configured, as you guys can see, if I do it successfully, now that my, my mouse doesn't work anymore, but here is my uh, USB stick, and it says it's not mounted yet, just go ahead and double click, and here it is. So I can sit, I can sit here and just work within all of <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, I can go in here and just sit and work in all this. Uh, for example, I can load you guys a picture of the of myself, and there it is. And this actually has all kinds of pictures in here. It's got a little photo slash show. Right here is our logo for the channel. Uh, I got a piano image, a picture of a YouTube icon all kinds of stuff in here that's my PNY folder uh, I can go into RCCC this is the college I attend uh, this is a picture of my schedule for my current semester and as you guys can obviously tell I'm extremely extremely busy uh, one of these is online that's the to be determined part and then you also have Tuesday from 10 to 12:30, then you have uh, Wednesday from 1:10 to 3. So I'm extremely busy at the moment, but um, by the time summer comes around, then I get a college break. I'll be much more active on YouTube than I am now. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. And uh, first, first of all, thank you guys so much for watching. Secondly, when you close the machine. Then your computer will come back and recognize the machine again. Now it's going to say there's a problem with the drive. There ain't nothing wrong with this drive. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and close out all this stuff. That is it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video whenever that's going to be. Hopefully it will be on. Hopefully it will come out Tuesday morning. Um, if not, expect it sometime next week or in the future. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video.